happy birthday, Anthony. Oh. It is a main show here at Half the Rag Company. This is our podcast. <laughs> to my right, Levi Gates. Oh, baby, it feels good to be back. The Across from together. me, Anthony Fisher, hey. birthday boy. Hey, Hello. hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Glad and to, be here. to my left, last but not least, Morgan McMurray. What's up? What's up, dude? There it What's is. All right. Up? So. Guys, nice to be back. Nice to have Anthony back. Thank you. He's been gone for a little bit. The hot 3-0. Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff happened last week. So in addition to our weekends, I feel like we should be able to address, you know, having our, our wonderful guest we had last week. We did. Yeah. We had Luke Berge Here. in the house, and mm-hmm. he did a great job on the uh, live Q&A on Thursday, yeah. filling in, answering questions. Uh, if you haven't listened to that yet, go back, listen to that. It's uh, fun. It was really great to have him. Luke came in on a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, and actually Wednesday morning, landed in Denver. Wow, yeah. What was great was... Yeah, we were all afraid he was going to miss him, right? What was great was he texted me and said, I just landed in Denver, but I'm here for four hours. Mm-hmm. And I said, Anthony's going through Denver. Mm-hmm. So I texted Anthony and said, hey, Luke's in the Denver airport for four hours. Go find him. Yeah. And then Anthony goes, I just landed in Denver. <laughs> I didn't think you would have been there that early. I just figured if you had a time frame yeah. from yeah. nine to one, you could have like... Lee said hi, and you did. You were able to yeah. catch up to him. Yeah, I was able to. I, I was funny because we were. I wasn't even looking for him because I knew you had texted me that. I was because Denver's so big that yeah. whole strip. But yeah. uh, me and Katie walked to go try to find some food somewhere, and we we're in that big middle area where they have kind of like that weird Aztec looking thing yeah. in the middle. Uh, and I'm <laughs> it's looking all there, weird there, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, this is kind of interesting. And I look across from me, and I say. Oh my God, that's a familiar shirt. And I see Luke wearing a Wash Wednesday shirt, <laughs> taking a picture of the thing down there. I'm like, he has no idea. He doesn't even see me. Ooh. So I walked around and I yelled, I'm like, Luke. And he learns, he's like, he's like, oh crap. And so <laughs> I gave him a big hug and we got to talk uh, about a lot of different things. And we were actually hung out for, you know, 30 minutes yeah. or so. He um, loved it. He was so but, excited. He was so happy to see oh, you. Oh, yeah. I was pumped to be able to see him. I felt bad because I'm like, dang, I'm, dude, I'm leaving out of town when you finally come. And, but I'm like, hey, at least I got to see him yeah. and, yeah, and talk to him. He was afraid he was going to miss you entirely. So that yeah. was really nice yeah. that you guys got to catch up there yeah no so but i hope yeah i hope that he did my seat justice on he the did q your a seat, did your seat justice um did uh, he? he bowled uh quite well i yeah, thought I he's say, he sure. said he didn't bowl good but i thought he bowled quite well to christmas uh-huh. party uh, <laughs> like he bowled at 272 yeah you know? he <laughs> he's what, like not my best <laughs> no, yeah. but he ate what you would eat at the christmas party as well oh, wow. so he filled your shoes quite nicely mm-hmm. um and uh um Spent the night at the house at, at, at my the, house the MOS at the HQ. MOS HQ. Nice. Um, he utilized one of the many amenities at the MOS HQ, which was he slept in the theater. Wow! On my very big couch. The okay. Theater. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he had boy. plenty of the room. The bed couch. Yeah. It's almost like a California king. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. It'll sleep for adults yeah. comfortably. Wow. Um, so he slept on that, and uh, Quite nice. yeah, and then also utilized the uh, mini fridge. Mm. Wow. Yeah, one of the beverage solution options I have. Um, what was in at, there? Uh, well, it had a smattering of Diet Pepsi, Diet Mountain Dew, uh, Diet Cherry 7-Up, Wow. and yeah. uh, just one ginger ale can. Oh, um, see, ginger ale. My but, yes. ginger ale. but the first night, I took him to Craven's, the candy store. Did you? Ooh. Okay. And That's he, the one with all the sassy sayings on them, right? Mm. Yes. So I took him there. Took him there to go look at the candy. Got the kids some candy and stuff. And uh, Luke bought himself a smattering of uh, root beers. Wow! Oh. Wow! And oh, utilized yeah. utilized the air co- the uh, the um, refrigerator for oh, that. Yeah. Purpose. He says he said Storage, he was a root yeah. beer connoisseur. He so. is. He is a fine nice. root beer connoisseur. Yeah. So he did that. And then uh, later on, bought some Mexican cokes. Mm. And put those also in my fridge. What's funny is that so. I could, I could, I could figure that out. I think that if you were to say, "Hey, what kind of soda does, does Luke like?" I would probably guess root beer. Right? It's yeah. it's a little bit odd. Um, I'm guessing he likes maybe Dad's or maybe some of his no, favorites. No, uh, he actually said what his fir- his favorite is one he a was. Mug so, guy? Luke, if you can put that in the comments, mm. um, favorite root beer. He had one that he got that he said quite possibly was one of his favorites of all time, and I forget the name of it. But he bought yeah. it at Cravens. Okay. But so. it was it wasn't your typical thing because if it was a Cravens, it was probably I, a, like kind of. I can't remember niche. if it's a Sioux City one or oh, okay. uh, something like. But he really really yeah, because like your, it was the your best dad, your mug, your A and W. A and W is good. Those, I enjoy but, those, but those are like more general kind mm-hmm. of. They cover yeah. mass appealing. They're yeah. They, Were they in everybody bottles? knows. Yeah, them. they were in bottles. Nice. But then you get down so, to like Henry Weinert's. Well, one of the things again at the MOSHQ 
bottle opener mounted on the side of the fridge. Mm. So easy ability yeah. to just crack crack the bottle. Right, right. Okay, yeah. so they were a bottle bottle. You got yeah. bottles. Okay. Yeah. Love so it. it was good stuff. But he brought presents for the kids. They loved it. Oh, yeah. Uh, they awesome. had a blast. Um, Augie got a Hot Wheels play set. Wow. He's still playing with that. Um, he loves that. He loves it. And then uh, Hadley got a uh, Perplexus is what he bought her. What it's a ball. That? With a bunch of maze options, and you run mm. a little ball, oh. and you can turn it to all these different ways to get the Does she love ball that? to run through the maze. Oh, she she sleeps with it. Mm-hmm. Imagine that, but an ant farm. Yeah, she sleeps with it. <laughs> what? The? So I control you. <laughs> I'm just imagining Dane like, has one of those see-through kind of thing. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah but it was kid, it was great. So we, we they did that. We did that the first night. Uh, he spent Thursday with us here. Uh, Went to the Christmas party Thursday night at Big Al's. Mm-hmm. Uh, we ate, had some fun, bowled. Um, then uh, Friday night, uh, was it Thursday night? My niece and her boyfriend Connor showed up wow. and spent the weekend also with us. Oh, wow. So my niece Full ended house? up spending the house? night at yeah. my mother-in-law's. Connor, who's the same age as Luke, uh, spent the night as well. So Connor took the uh, Disney room. Uh, the Disney Playroom, as we mm-hmm. have, because Luke had um, the choice and he did not. Because Luke take had taken that. the theater, yeah. so uh, <laughs> uh, so Connor and Luke spent uh, some time talking, and and Luke did what any good TRC uh, employee would do is uh, get them converted, get the person that they're talking to converted to the joy of microfiber. You're yes. related yeah. to this person. How are they not already? <laughs> well, I don't get to talk to Connor all that oh, much. Okay. So Luke did a great job uh, to the point that Connor came in the next day on Friday and really wanted to buy a bunch of microfiber. Oh, my God. And then spent the rest of the... He said he did not sleep. He watched YouTube videos of Uh, us. So Connor's probably listening to this podcast now because he's a fairly new listener of the podcast. Uh So welcome, Connor. Yeah. Um, But yeah, so it was fun. So Luke was like, oh, I was teaching him and showing him all (laughs) this stuff. They went back downstairs Mm -hmm. because, again, the MOSHQ... Right there on site. It's true. Luke took him down there, and Luke and I had washed Carly's car, and we got to play. I let him play around with some crystal sealant and some quick detailer on yeah. Carly's car. And uh, Luke took Connor down there, showed him some of the the Dragos, showed him the oh. twist loops, oh. showed him how to utilize quick detailer, showed him some interior finisher. <laughs> well, and they no. gave they did. Luke basically gave him a, a small uh, training class. Luke is impressively good at that. He's very good at yes. it. And uh, He's confident. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's funny to hear that the two of them were in my garage at like one o'clock in the morning, working on Carly's car. So wow. not going to argue with that. Not going to argue means. with that. I have no problems with it. So <laughs> one less thing uh, for you to do. <laughs> yeah. So it was funny. Uh, but Luke and I did work on the car together. Got it cleaned out for nice. Carly. So that was fun to do. Um, we had a good time. It was fun having Luke there at the house. Saturday morning, I took him and Connor up to the top of Table Rock. Oh yeah, because that was the day Luke had to leave. So you guys yeah. made it. Up yeah. There? Okay, oh yeah, cool. we just drove up. It was a piece of cake. Nice. So we drove yeah. the suburban up. There was snow, and it was beautiful oh. because it was dark clouds mm. with the sun breaking through yeah. cool. and fresh snow. The view from up there the be- is always... It was beautiful. And so yeah. we got up there, and Luke was just in absolute awe. Um, and then they've got all the outbuildings up there. They've got them all covered in graffiti. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. the radio station yeah. tower. Yeah, really nice things. graffiti, yeah. too. So it was, uh, you know, they're more art pieces they're than cool. anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they got to see some of that. So he was like, wow, this is really cool. And then got to, he took some good pictures it's of himself up there. It's a very unique place. Yeah. 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 So that was fun. And then I uh, took him downtown to the winter market. Hmm. Uh, we did the winter market, wandered around. He picked up some uh, coffee roasted out of McCall uh, for his family to take home as one of his Christmas presents. Nice. So he was pretty excited nice. about that. And then dropped him off the airport, and uh, that was our weekend. But okay. all in Very all, nice. pretty easy, simple, light. I didn't have a car to do. Next weekend, I've got uh, two cars scheduled and another car after that for the following weekend. So Very um, nice. good stuff. Yeah. He, he said again and again, he probably repeated it to you too, how much he loved being on the Q&A, like actually yeah. sitting in the seat and being able to answer questions and stuff. He, he looked back when it was over, he goes, that was two hours? Yeah, it went by fast. What? <laughs> he was like, yeah. I wanted it to get going. That was fun. Like, and he, you he kind of got it. He also, you took him Thursday night before the party. Yes. What did you go do, Dane, with him? Uh, so he, for a long time, has been requesting a ride in the Volvo, but also the Jag. So I right. thought- uh, let's kill two birds with one stone here. So you killed Luke Berkey. <laughs> no, oh he, my God. he flew home. He's safe and sound. Uh, yeah, no. What happened was at the end of the day, I told him, you know what? We got a Christmas party tonight. 
Uh, I have to go home and pick up Liz anyway. Why don't you ride with me in the Jag to my house, and then you can see my house and understand that the mailroom is nothing like these guys describe it. So, and then we can kind of you know wrap all this together. And you know, it's funny well, out of all you guys, said, Luke is the only one who's actually seen it. Does yeah. that remind <laughs> him of hoarders? Oh. He also <laughs> said that he was really disappointed that your mail or your mm-hmm. uh, lawn man wasn't there. Yeah, he right. was hoping he was going to get a chance to see him as, as well. Well, it is winter. An action. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, Did he so help you replace Was he putting bulbs? up your Christmas lights or anything? <laughs> no, they're already up. Oh, he so already did nice. it. He basically uh, got to the house in the Jag. I gave him I gave him just like, it was raining, so I couldn't get too crazy in it. Oh, but yeah, you didn't want to get At rowdy. a certain point, we reached a cl- uh, cloud break, so I was like, mm. okay, I'm going to roll down the windows. You can get the full experience. Here, it's wet out. I'm just going to plant the gas, and you're going to feel what it sounds like without actually going anywhere fast because it's just going to spin. And I didn't quite tell him when it was going to happen. So when I did it, it got real loud, real fast. He was just like, oh, my God. Was he in the front seat? (laughs) (laughs) Not no, no human can fit in the back seat of that car. None. So where was Liz? (laughs) No, he was no in the jack I was still, getting Morgan. home. Oh, and, okay. Wow, <laughs> that that paints a picture. So no, I was taking him in the jack, and I was like, okay. I realized he's, he's like, oh, this the, sounds nice, power. but like the windows were yeah. up, and I just had it in regular auto mode, and I'm like, no, nah, let me shift it into manual. Okay, here's what it really sounds like, and then I I planted it, and he just went. Oh, you can see like the fear in his eyes. It was great, but I, uh, you know, tail got a little happy. But I was Woo! in a big open area, and I was like, "It's fine." Nice, yeah, Eagle Road. So I had fun with that. Yeah, and, uh, guy. Big, big open space. <laughs> big Woo! open. Space. I was yeah. on a. It was a country road. I was almost sure. home. Country yeah. road. Yeah. Country yeah. road. Yeah. Yeah. Wet country road. Locust <laughs> road. <laughs> the second most busiest street in the Treasure Valley. <laughs> it was Meridian Road, and uh. I had a good ten car lengths between me and anyone else. So <laughs> the guy behind me was surprised, though. Uh, yeah. So did that, got to the house, and then he's like, oh, so this is it. And I was like, yeah, this is this is a home. I live in a normal home. I'm not a crazy person. Here, normal. check did it he out. Did he take so pictures of the gravel around. area? Uh, yes, he did. And he goes, that's not that much gravel. You could cover that in concrete easy, but it would be expensive. And I go, yeah, that's why I haven't done it yet. That's why you do it in asphalt. But uh, yeah, so that's an option. Any rate, got that, got him in the house, showed him around. I was like, okay, you're going to meet Callie. Here's my dog. Here's my cat. You got Probably to meet, don't touch yeah, here's the cat. My girlfriend, Liz. Mean, here's don't Liz. touch her either. What about Liz? <laughs> he said, got to meet Callie. Uh, <laughs> and we went to the mailroom. We said, what about Liz? Uh, <laughs> Liz Liz she was like, I'm right here. I'm yeah. standing here. You guys literally. So then I showed him the California King. I'm like, there it is. It's on the floor. Understand it. It that's now, what no that box looks spring, like. Here's right? the thing. Just a mattress. No, it's box spring. I okay. would never. Okay. <laughs> no, there's just no frame. It's just. A I know box. no frame. frame. Mattress. But it's I still just, about a f- two feet high, though. It's I mean, it's like yeah. bohemian style. It's just you know bohemian on the floor. Style. Oh, yeah. I did not know that was what it was called. I think it's well, I just made that up. <laughs> it, like it worked. He made but, that uh, yeah, so that yeah, w- so that that was over there. But the the way I kind of set it up was like, okay, I got you there in the Jag, but here's the fun part. We're taking the Volvo. I still have the Volvo. It hasn't been sold yet. There is a guy who's like mulling it over, going to do yeah. a pre-purchase inspection. Mm-hmm. Hasn't happened. One yet. One thing I love so, is that when Luke, when Dane first listed the Volvo for sale six months ago, mm-hmm. Luke was talking about how the, if he could come out here and go for a ride in it, and Dane said, "Oh, it'll be long gone." By then, okay, you're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> no, I did not December. say that. I knew it was going to take a while. To still, anyway. for, still for sale. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy that Luke got to <laughs> experience a dream. That he and was, maybe, maybe the universe was just waiting for Luke so. to ride it. I think that's what it was. And now that he has, now you'll yeah. have better luck. Exactly. The universe exactly. will allow it to, to yeah. pass from my ownership. Yeah. yeah. So what happened was. I had to get blessed I, by Luke first. I, I, yeah, oh, uh, he just—he just. I had him sitting there, and uh, we drove over to Big Al's. And uh, the drive there, he was just like, "Wow, I didn't expect this car to be that loud." And I'm like, "I told you, it's a loud Volvo." He also he goes, said it rode horribly; his yeah. back hurt. And I told him, I was like, "It's a stiff it's probably ride." Probably why people don't so want to buy the nearest stiffest walk-in chiropractor. Right? Yeah. Car. And I was like, Down "There's the street, a lot of actually, reasons. Like, it's a very, way. very niche car. Only very few people will actually appreciate people who it for don't what have it spines." <laughs> People <laughs> made of Jello, um, yeah. So that was fun, but I was just like, ah. And he goes, yeah, it, it, it's cool and all, but I like the sound of the Jag better. I'm like, yeah, because you're like a big truck V8 guy, whatever. So he's I get diesel it. bam. Yeah, he's, he is. he's diesel fam. So uh, yeah. Any rate, he got the chance to have he both. Did. He and was that was very. Fun. He loved it because he got to hang out at the MOSHQ, go for a ride in Ragnarok and the Elantra. Yep. And got to ride in the Jag and the Volvo and spend time at the uh, Great Dane 
Uh, films and Dane also was years. advertising. I don't know if you had the chance to see at mm. Big Al's the for sale sign was up. Oh, so perfect space the to do that. Eyes could see. Yep. Yep. Yes, what was available but nice. he and didn't have the ticket it. price listed i think you should have set up an ad inside of big owls and said mm. you know 10, win this tickets. car <laughs> win this car for ten thousand tickets so what happened on my way back from big owls was oh all this time i got had wrecked. the car i've never had an issue okay car didn't have an issue except for when it Liz cut had out an issue. on the way to portland but it was about mm, nine nine yeah, thirty that time that it almost died it was around nine thirty at night and the car, I mean, it has a muffler delete, all that stuff. So it likes to pop and crackle and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, fire. This is the first time I've ever been yelled at by a neighbor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So my. I was driving in and there was a cat crossing the road and Liz and I were watching. We were like, is he going to go? And Because we had the windows down. So it was like just the right temperature, it whatever. Was, it was cold. It was yeah. cold, but it was like refreshing. So no, it was nice. It was, it was freezing. It was freezing cold. <sighs> To each their own. any rate, had the <laughs> it was dark out. There was a little white cat trying to cross the road. And I'm like, so uh, I'm going to go. So did Liz it, roll her own window down or did you forcibly roll her window no, down? No, she rolled it down too. Because after bowling, it was like actually Bigger some exercise. Nice. Hot. Oh, it was hot. It was there. exercise. Cool down yeah. from that okay. heavy bowling. So I don't know yeah. if you. I was bowling with you. I like to roll windows down with the seat heater on. That's my move. Dane, I'm right there with you. I'm <laughs> just is, telling you in my in thing. my vehicle, if I roll my window down, I cannot roll my other family members' windows down, Absolutely. or I will That's yell that. I'm sure they'll be do. upset. That's not my Especially thing. girls, because you know what the problem is? Our hair blows exactly. all over the place. Yep. Carly says, why and do you run and roll the window down? My hair's going everywhere. on the way to somewhere, I understand right. that. But in the case of heading back home, Liz was like, I don't care. This is fine. So, yeah, yeah it was good. Yeah. Okay. But was the this little cat <laughs> crosses the street, and it made it like halfway, and then it got hesitant. And I'm like, oh, no. So I had to slow down. I was in third gear. Third gear is the crackle pop bang bang Did you downshift, Dane? So I downshifted oh, from bang. I downshifted in the neighborhood. From you didn't fourth need to do third. that. I was going. It's a Thursday night, Dave. Fifteen miles per hour tops. Fifteen. Inconsiderate. In third gear. In in third just gear. Five gear. And I was just, I wasn't quite lugging, but I was close because I was um, trying to keep it quiet for the neighbors. Yeah. But as soon as I downshifted, it was just like, Wah! and oh, of man. course, then it freaked out this cat. The cat went running, and then Killing just cat. as I was about to start accelerating, it made the loudest pop I've ever heard it make. It sound like a gunshot. Well, it, it was is so Meridian. loud. So it echoed, <laughs> and then I hear this neighbor. I didn't see him anywhere. It was just dark house, and I hear this voice, "Slow down!" And I'm like. <laughs> Oh my God! Where I've never once heard a guy say that, but I was like, okay, he thinks I'm some like kid. street racer because you're street rolling around racer the lower kid car, messing around, and of course I fire at your exhaust. <laughs> they're just popping all that, so I was like, okay, so he, and I'm lucky I don't drive this car out there very often. So right, the fact he he yeah, that, you would have. They would have known. They didn't even know I was car, broken neighbor. some windows. But I was going uh -huh. 15 miles an hour. The speed limit's 25 there. I was. Yeah. More than okay, but it sounded fast. So the guy was, Rawr. and I don't know why, but that that triggered me. Something so about someone telling you what you to do. When someone tells you what to do, that is something that just makes me go, "No, old man." Activate <laughs> two step activated. Whoa. I was tempted, but I didn't. But I did keep it in the lower gear the whole ride back to the house, just to like, eh, it was 9 o'clock. It wasn't midnight. It wasn't 1 a.m. It was 9.30. It, was it wasn't even quiet hours yet. You still had a half hour to get home yeah, before the noise 10. ordinance we, started in. Noise ordinance curfew's 10 in Meridian. Yeah, there you go. Can't be Even I don't guns. know that. You, you were it was a free for all for you. you but the point is, left. like, yeah, party. I can't be the only one who's like, I, I'm super forgiving. I'm, I believe in second chances. I always want to look Not out for, for that people. Neighbor. But it's over someone for him. tells yeah. me to do something to that do I am something. totally within the realm of, like, okay, I'm following the rules. This is fine. My car's a little loud. You tell me to be, slow down. He didn't say be quiet. He said slow down. Dane's and I was fired unspeak. up. I was. No. <laughs> authority figure. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we all know EU Dane can't handle authority. No, yeah. And no. I guarantee you, whichever neighbor it was, those have moved around. I've lived there longer than that guy. You should TP I have, his house. I have EU Dane. AU Dane. I'll help you TP Alternate his house. Alternate universe Dane. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't deal also with authority. Also EU Dane. Yeah. But he's an EU Dane. Yeah. So so I had a, I had a brief flash where maybe I had like an well, out-of-body experience in. in AU. Like, 
popped yeah. in and he was like, hold on, I got this. Yep. <laughs> it was like a little bit of that. God. And then just roll up Did in the driveway. You, yeah. and, calm down. and then Liz looked over and she out. goes, I've never heard anybody tell us to slow yeah. down here. I go, I know. And yeah. she's like, you look like you actually got a little mad about that. You never get mad about anything, Dan. I was like, oh, it got under my skin. Oh. That guy, that guy oh, saying man. those two words Said I'm not even in the race car. Than wow. somebody like saying crappy things to my face. Like those two words, like oh. no, man. no, man, <gasps> no. Fired up. <laughs> Fired up. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. So uh, that was uh, that was my Thursday. Nice. So how was uh, <laughs> how was rest of your weekend? Rest of the weekend was great. By the way, the bed is no longer on the ground. <gasps> what? <Whoa. laughs> oh my goodness! What I happened? I got myself a California King bed frame. Wow! Just a frame. Guys, this is headboard. so. Okay. This no, is no, awesome. I, see, I don't. Well, now, does it work? I don't like having a headboard. Okay. Question: Does it work now? Because originally you were using your bay window as Correct. a headboard. So now do you fall into the bay window because the bed's too high? So it's, no, it's reoriented the bed. Now oh. it's against the wall. Wow. Oh, but we organized stands on the Some side. Some interior so it's fine. design going on. I this also installed a new ceiling fan in there for the oh, first wow. time in six years. I have oh. a working ceiling fan. A Lovely. Hunter? Is it a hunter? Oh uh, it is what's Hampton called Bay. It's called a Reagan Two by Air with an E at the end. Wow! wow. And uh, oh, it is, nice. I picked it because it is the most unique looking fan. Very nice. All the so fans it wasn't a big find. ass fan. It looks like <laughs> it looks like a pr- plane propeller. Like if you look yeah. up Reagan mm-hmm. Two on Home yeah. Depot's very website, nice. it's a very interesting design. It has nice. real wood, like not it. plastic. So very you know nice. what you've done, Dane. You've essentially done what every uh, home home buyer uh, hates mm-hmm. um, as a as a as basically you have created a hideous thing <laughs> in the middle of this room in which a new buyer is going to walk through there and be like, well, that's the first thing to go. Yeah. But, but, but you love <laughs> it. You got the and most. You got the <laughs> most. Let me put it this way. I own this, this house since 2011 and I will continue to own Dave's it. Dave's going to die in that house. He's going to die in that house Dave. and he's going to have children. No. Five of I, them. I, my long-term plan is own this house until I can finally afford the mid-century modern home of my well, dreams. You, wow. you oh could. My. If, I will have a cantilevered okay. home. If you sold all your a, cars, you probably could. Yeah, you probably on could. a ledge cliff, whatever, I, I will have that mid-century that modern home cantilevered over mm. like a drop-off, and it'll be a cool cantilevered. view. Moves up to the hills. But until I, can af- <laughs> until I can afford that. Is it the Minka Air? I'm staying here. Uh, I think it's just Air, a i R E. There's Dane a Reagan Minka? two. There's a lot of Minka airs here. Look up, look up Reagan two. There's a distressed Koa. Reagan two. That's all you have okay. to look up. A lot of well, Dane, I'm excited fans. for you and your uh, mid 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 century modern home oh um, with the your air cooled Porsche in the uh, in the visible driveway. What about the I aviation? will probably have the Jag or some evolution of that type of car oh. in my garage so as well. But, but an air cooled Porsche will find it. You didn't way. get yeah. the aviation. No, that's basically what it is, but with a light on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I, again, free, I stand by my one? previous statement of being the Absolutely. first thing to go once he sells the house. Oh. Just take that with you, Dane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For those of you wondering. Does it have a light on it? Yes. It's a sick looking fan, though. It's an I like it. It looks nice. I like it. What color did you oh. get? Wood? It's dark, dark reddish wood. So oh, the cherry. bright side nice of that cherry. kind of fan is what is you can do. Wood? Is if Dane ever comes to the point where he's building a plane in his backyard, he can just it's use just, that as yeah, a propeller. It's going to be amazing. Because he could. He totally could. He's got enough spare parts between the other cars. Type in the Ronald yeah. Reagan. Ronald <laughs> Reagan? <laughs> this is basically it. It looks like those okay. little wood uh-huh. things that you got with those ice Except creams. Except it is 52 in elementary inches, school, so and it's they actually had the wood wider thing than attached and you TV. took Big it out. TV, yeah. yeah. So it's it's pretty okay. sizable, but nice. yeah, it took me uh, like a that. couple hours to put it up because the way the previous fan was wired was janky. Oh. So I it was had to just fix hanging a by a wire? Stuff. No, no. It's Did it just have like, an appropriate box up it there? It had the appropriate box, and that's one thing I, I yeah. always check because I learned that work at Home Depot. Lots of people go home, fit it up there, and they, they put would it just in have just the a normal wrong, light fixture. Wrong kind think. of light fixture box, and the thing would eventually like yeah. give way in the ceiling. That's terrifying. So, no yeah, thanks. Not make when sure it's right it's above got my a bed. spreader bar, yeah. and there's a bunch of stuff that yeah. has to be done. So, to make sure. all that stuff is in there. That thing is solid. Nice. And, uh, that fan is not light, but it is incredibly quiet. I like so it's it a, a lot. whole new room, pretty much. He's did, got the did, frame did you, and the did fan. you say verba- verbatim in the TV? Wh- when you when you installed it and you looked at Liz and you're like, that thing's not going anywhere. <laughs> Did, Did you, you say, say that? that? That's like some dad meme. Oh, yeah. It that's, is. that's not going anywhere. <laughs> I know. That's not going anywhere. that single anywhere. tear yeah. drips from your eye and you're like... So, question. Good. You guys mounted the TV in the bedroom, right? Didn't no, you put a TV in the bedroom? It's on my desk. It's not mounted. Yet. Okay. Right now, it's Can fine. you watch it from the TV? Mm-hmm. Or from, from the bed? From the bed? Yes. But you moved the bed. I did, but now the bed it's a big faces enough TV. it directly. You can see it from pretty oh, much anywhere Oh, it faces it directly. Yeah. So, prior, you couldn't actually sit and look at it. 
Right before oh. it had to be angled and make mm. that work. Very now, nice. Now it's just oh. a straight shot. So now you've got comfort, accessibility, viewability, as well as a uh, a nice ceiling fan yeah. for a cool breeze. Now what nice. I want to do Very is nice. work like a corner desk into that space oh, instead lovely. of having mm. a like desk an flat against the wall mm. because maybe an L shape, maybe just a triangle. Like one thing I would uh, also suggest is probably some of these uh, fabric pieces. They're fabric covered foam. Mount them up in your corners. Mm. Reduce the sound. Reduce the sound. Yeah. Have a little more, uh, you know, a nicer, crisper feel. Yeah. Uh, for yeah, some noise. Nice acoustics. In do there. you guys yeah. like? Do you guys have mirrors in your bedroom? There's just one on the ceiling. It's, a, it's like a full length one. On the, the full length I one. I know. It's on the are, ceiling. Oh, okay. well, <laughs> it's like, on the wall. Well, you did well, this. <laughs> is it oh, mounted to the wall, like or can, or like can you freely move that to change position? No, it's fixed in position. Ah, oh. see, that's the what does that have a view of? Right now, the it's bed? just basically opposite a uh, window over there. <laughs> I know what you're just trying wondering. to do. I'm just wondering yeah. where it's no. at. Opposite the window. It's so it literally in the one spot So it makes it look like you have two windows. Not really. So it faces the window. So it reflects that same window. So it's it an brings interior in design. I don't have to get into double the, light. the shape of the room, but basically it's on the one wall that doesn't have a window. And it's a wall where it, there's a wall and then there's the door that leads out of the bedroom. So is, it, so it's is just the, bedroom, the bedroom has three walls to the outside? <laughs> Like a oh like a movie <laughs> set. <laughs> How do I describe this? It's basically like it's like I'm a bottle need of to quick see a floor plan. <laughs> This hold on a second. Is, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. If you're not watching this on the Red Company podcast channel, you need to go over and watch it. Dane just pulled out a tester size bottle of quick detailer yeah. and a coffee mug. He took my and coffee to mug and demonstrate made the way the room is laid out. <laughs> and I, laid it's, out. I'm still not having a clear picture. So you know, we have a square box right here. I'm that you could talk about. So it is a box at the end stickers. of a like so it's kinda, hall it's, type. Okay, we've gone too far. So you know what? On, Dave, I know. I feel like I'm going to continue for the rest of your death. weekend. Go. Yes. So <laughs> that was pretty much the extent of my weekend was installing that after. and then <laughs> going to my parents' house and enjoying some like Christmas decorations, a oh, little oh, early dinner, nice. just a chance to kind of get together. Do a little decoration, except we all decided, no, we don't feel like pulling the tree down right now. Let's just watch Christmas movies. But you already have your tree up in your house, Absolutely. so you told your parents. You said, I don't have that problem. You don't I know, I, I come prepared. Did you tell but your mom in our that case, that's a way to do it? Well, she knows. But at any rate, we have it set up there at the house where we were going to get the stuff, but they had to put away some old decorations first. And uh, instead of setting that up, we decided to watch Christmas movies, mm. and we volunteered like Die Hard or uh, yep. say like yep. Home Alone, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But then what actually ended up happening, because they always watch a Christmas story, and kind of like It's a Wonderful Life, a Christmas story is great the first or second time you watch it. After a while, you kind of go, I need a break. Yeah. No, so you guys so, think so. <clears throat> so your parents watch it three times in a row? So what we did instead was we got a little meta with it, and we decided to turn on Netflix and watch the movies that made us. So we watched basically documentaries about the creation of Home Alone and Die Hard. And all the back end oh. dealings that and interesting businessy so type stuff bad. that went on with it. And as oh. a family, Christmas spirit. with a family business, we were all very interested in how it got put together. It was super fun. I like that. We actually had fun. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad yeah. you It's just it. a bunch of fun anecdotes. Yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. interesting. And if you haven't checked it out, uh, the Ghostbusters episode is pretty fun, too. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Right on. Any rate, that was my weekend. I will move along and let somebody else talk while I try and find a way to demonstrate oh the shape my. of said room. Can to you just go draw Morgan. it? Wait, grab a piece of paper right there. Yes. There you go, Dane. There's a, there's a <laughs> pamphlet for you. So Please, carry on. You can actually That's draw that. <laughs> yeah. Like this, Dane. Okay. There you go, Dane. All right. Woo. Morgan, you want to tell us about your weekend? Of course. So my weekend technically started Thursday night because we had a party. Right. Um. So I we got our little gift cards to use upstairs for the games, right? So well, one I thing I don't know before you talk, uh, mm. Anthony, Morgan was bowling. Yeah, I was, and oh. we noticed there was an issue. Yeah, with her nails, her nails. Yeah. So I went. I can already tell you that yeah. up to the front desk and asked for the dinosaur tail for the children. Yeah. To put the ball on and roll down. Morgan, how'd that go? It went really well. Pretty much, I scored higher than mostly everyone except yeah, Stacey just because she's it's so cheating, good. But yeah. yeah I, I, cheating? Yeah. It wasn't cheating. It was uh, like a, we had a child playing with us. Yeah. So. so then they need to win every yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Morgan, sorry. It went really well. Um, that was great for me. I it had was a, fun, though. I had a reasonable score. For you did. We all were doing really well. Yeah. We were so all beating Brandon, the game, which was good. <laughs> that's what we, that's what we <laughs> cared about, mostly. So we ended uh, that game, and I said, all right, that was a good 
one game of bowling. Let's go upstairs, play some games. So we went upstairs to play some games. Um, and we had obviously our little cards that had some points loaded on them, right? So the first one I go to, my main goal here is to win points to get candy. Yeah, okay. I'm not so much concerned about Prizes. Um, pr- like, well, having fun. Yeah. You know those games oh, okay. that you can play to have fun, but you don't get anything. You want a reward them? for the money you're spending. I want, I want a reward. Right. So I go to that one where you like push the thing down and it spins. Yeah, it gets you, you know? the most tickets. Yeah, and guess what? The first try, I won the friggin' jackpot. Nice. Wow. Of it. And Very that's nice. never happened to me in my life. Yeah. I've never seen anyone win it. So I won that, and I was like, sweet. So cool. already, I was pretty much set. I had enough tickets now to. Um, Buy, buy some two candy. pieces of candy. Some stuff. Yeah. No, it was more than that, Anthony. Okay, so we played some other games, um, and then we were like, "All right, like we've been playing around for like a half hour. Like let's go, let's go check out." Basically, so we go to the little uh, place where you buy, you know, the gift shop. We and exchange your points or tickets yeah, for, prizes for prizes or candy. Yeah, and you know what it's like when you go in there and they're like, all right, you have like 200 points and you got to pick between all these things yeah. that are like 50 points for like a Tootsie Roll or something. Right. And you're like, this is So BS. you got four Tootsie Rolls. So I we had over 1,000 points. Very nice. Wow. So um, I had the ability to look at some of the higher up items mm-hmm. that were, like you know, like 600 points. boom boxes points. and yeah. things yeah, like that. Yeah, so what the did bike? I buy? Xbox, we did buy yeah. candy because Kids that bicycle. was one of the most, that's what I really cared about. Right, yeah. So, um, I also got a whoopee cushion. Very yeah. nice. Um, so and a crown. It's one of my kids' favorite items when we go is yeah. to pick up a whoopee cushion. It's a whoopee cushion. Um, I got a plastic crown oh, and some nice. fun dips. And Brandon oh. picked out some other random stuff. He got a bouncy ball, lost it downstairs immediately, <laughs> which I knew was going to happen, but <laughs> that's his own problem, not mine. Um, so then, you know, we go home. We get home after a great night hanging out with the TRC family. Um, and then Friday came to work, had a great time. Friday night was the start of the official weekend. Um, and I was planning for a Christmas party that I was having on Saturday. So Friday night I went to the grocery store, got some stuff, got prepared, um, made some things that you have to make the night before, got that already. Um, then Saturday woke up and it was time to start putting things together, getting my table ready, cleaning the downstairs, doing all that kind of stuff that you got to do. So I did that. Um, We were starting to have people come over at like six. So, you know, started to get stuff ready, got the platters out, got everything ready for that. And then everyone started to show up. It was great. It was a girl's party only. Wow. Um, It was a girl's pajama party. So we had a great time and there was no pillow fights. Um, That's a myth. That's not true. You don't guys didn't have one? No. Okay. okay. We don't actually do that. Just didn't know what the rules um, were about so that. So, yeah, then... What was Brandon doing while you were having this girl's picture in the We Prairie told the boys party. to leave. We said, you guys need to find somewhere else I just to saw go. on his stories he was, in the, he was in the mountains, lost in the snow. He was yeah. um, on su- Saturday day and Sunday day. Okay. Um, but then he, after a long, harsh winter... Um, was able to come home okay. for a little, and yeah. then for me to tell him you need to. He find said his somewhere. hands were cold in one of his stories. Mm. So he was <laughs> in, in the snow. snow. That yeah. happens without gloves on. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, but. well to record. Oh, you know, okay. For the mm-hmm. gram. Mm. So yeah, they left, and then um, so we just had, you know, everyone was just hanging out. I had a hot chocolate station set up, which I was nice. very proud of. Um, Kelly was really excited to help out by offering oh, yeah. up her um, serving yeah. dishes. Was, oh, okay. oh she didn't come. No, she didn't come to the party, but she just wanted to give me the proper yeah. um, essentials for setting up that kind of thing. Because right. mm-hmm. obviously, like, what am I going to... I don't entertain right. that often. I'm not oh, going to buy all these She's a premier plates. entertainer. Exactly. So borrowed some stuff from her. Um, so that went great, but it was like a slumber party. So Sunday, I woke up and there were still all these people at my house. And they weren't really my friends. They were my roommate's friends because it was mm. more of, like, her thing. But then she was like, oh, we're going to have a girls' night. So, like, have some of your friends come over. So whatever I did. But it was mostly a bunch of people that I didn't know. And so there was all these people just sleeping everywhere at our house. Oh, and there's puppies. One girl brought mm-hmm. her baby black lab. Oh, that's so cute. And then cute. there was two chihuahuas. Oh, that's not so cute. And <laughs> you have some dogs at your house. <laughs> and the big lab who lives there. And oh my god, it was just a lot of activity. We had to put the big we had to put Morty upstairs because he was just It's a too great big. name. I love my yeah. dog. I used to have a dog named Morty. It's a great name. Best yeah. dog name. Best yeah. dog name. Yeah. So that was um, a lot of 
a lot of fun, a lot of activity going on that I was like, okay, anyways. So once everyone left on Sunday, I was like, all right, I can finally leave my room now. And I went downstairs expecting it to be a total disaster. But one of the girls who'd stayed over had woken up early before she had to leave to go to work and she threw away most of the trash. So like all of the McDonald's, um, Addison's <coughs> boyfriend, who is my roommate, bought 10 large fries from McDonald's and brought them home, which was a very smart move because when he walked through the door with a bunch of drunk girls with a McDonald's yeah, a bag, yeah. we were very happy to see that. So uh, the next morning, there wasn't that much stuff to clean up left. Nice. It was just mostly like all of the crackers and stuff that were out and um so that was great Delicious. and then yeah. later on sunday what did i do later on sunday would you guys like to know what'd you do i put an exhaust on my car nice wow. Yeah. wow that's amazing so yeah morgan got an exhaust shipped right here to the rag company wow. uh, we saw it here on friday all must, of us got to uh, must take, be nice we got to take pictures yeah. with it um wow it was really fun luke even posed with it as well he was pretending yeah. to play it like a guitar i would yeah. literally love uh, to get an exhaust shipped here so any exhaust companies, if you're listening and you make them for the Elantra or a eight liter Suburban, yeah. please get in touch with me. Or a, you know, uh, dang, your cars already sound good. I don't know what you're want. If you're, you're into Evo, a, whatever. Uh, Evo or something like that, we, send we, one we to. We love uh, the ability to represent we, your exhaust. We would love company. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if any, we love to ship exhausts here is yeah. the main thing. Yes. Because what we don't want is for them to be sitting on our front porch the whole day. Right. Because there's a bunch of Christmas thieves who if, steal If you're things. cold, they're cold. Bring them inside. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. So, yeah. So, it went on all right? Yeah. So, we got it on. Um, the old one was Did you recruit some of the heavy. ladies from the party? No. No, he, he only recruited one lady. Jimmy. Oh, okay. That was mean. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, Jimmy. We love you. <laughs> Jimmy's not so even Jimmy came this. over. But Jimmy no, had I went. I went to Jimmy's. Oh, I went to Jimmy's. Because Jimmy just installed his own exhaust mm -hmm. on his Miata. Yeah. He did. So, I knew he had some experience. You're right. As well as having a shop with the little thing. Yeah. So you we need that little ditch, thing. Yeah. Needed that thing for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did that. The old one was so freaking heavy. I think I already said that, but it was so heavy. Save some it pounds. It was so bulky. Got rid of that girl. Put on the other one. Loud. Yeah. 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 Vicious. Yeah. Farty. Yeah. Or burbly. Um, um it's going to need a tune. Okay. For sure. But better than I expected. Okay. Yeah. Sounds right. great. Yeah. So. Oh, good. Right on. Next. Um, Anthony. Okay. So well, first things first, it's yeah. your birthday. It, it, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Happy Those of you birthday, listening, baby. Anthony is the, uh, uh, a hot 30 so years old the present? today. Yeah, I know. So I uh, just wanted to give this to you for your birthday from Nate and I. Yay. Wow. Um, Thank you. I like the plaid. It's like a flannel. It's almost it's, like a flannel. I um, wrapped it in the nighttime, so it's kind of uh, not a the best wrapping job. Hey, you Carly know what? did say it sucked okay. uh, for the wrapping, but um, I, I appreciate it. You know, it's the thought that counts, and this is what really is important to me. I so, just want you to know how much um, I, you know, I, I value uh, our friendship. As does yeah. Nate. Next day, Nate. Well, let's go ahead and tear let's this thing it. open. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing. It's... Hey guys, what is this thing? <laughs> a mini dart Turn memo over. board. It's got a price tag. There you go. That's much Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Now you get to see the full feature and effect. Woo! Morgan, we'll, we'll have to play this. You'll hold it up for me, and I will throw the darts at it. <laughs> okay. <Should I laughs> they are pointed, right so you do need to be careful. Wow. I have points on them. I Why would you give Anthony sharp objects? I can't wait to uh, put that in my office. It's going to look great That is going to be a fun time. Thank you, guys. Uh, I really appreciate that. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I, I, oh, no. I absolutely will. It's not going to go well. Um, it's going to be great. He's going to throw. It's What schools I like, they also put post-it notes up there. Yeah. And they like throw them. I like that. That's nice. To hit them. Um, okay. So getting, I guess getting started. My week uh, started last uh, started last week. I, I do want to talk about a couple different things that I've uh, that I've created here. Um, so if you've noticed on the table, if you're watching the Rad Company podcast, you'll see there is a cologne here. Created by um, All Day Anthony himself. Uh, that is created by some guy named All Day Anthony uh, with the All Day uh, uh, vinyl logo on the front of this. Is that the uh, actual trademarked All Day? 
logo? Uh, I hope not. Okay. So this Swing was made turn. through the greatest smell ever. It's a okay. website where you can make your own custom cologne. Um, this is not a promo for them, it's, even though it sounds like it, uh, where you choose don't your scents, them, right? We started um, to, well. I was looking at that as well as yeah. to how to make we my own scent. We don't scent. recommend. So you choose your, mi- you choose your base note, yeah. your mid note, and your top notes, yeah. right? Um, I ended up choosing um, some woodsy bottom notes, some cedarwood, a little bit of sandalwood. Uh, and where I went wrong was with my mid notes. Of, so there's a um, bottom note yeah middle a middle note and a, top. and a top note yeah just so everyone's aware so i went with pretty much all wood scents mm-hmm. you know i went with embroxin and i went with cedar at the kind of the bottom okay. base notes mm-hmm. um the mid notes is where i went horribly wrong um with pepper and uh patchouli specifically right the patchouli was a horrible choice when you first um, said patchouli all of us said i why warned you... him several times yeah, said, why would all you do that i heard patchouli and he so, said no, i don't know what that smells do that. like so that's where i really messed up and then my top notes i chose lime and a sweet orange um and what it ended up smelling like uh, is a very dirty old man it does smell and, like a dirty old man and it is uh pretty <laughs> disgusting fortunately i only paid 37 so bucks for, for those it. of you that would uh would like this scent um, a tester of it. Yeah. Uh, oh. Anthony will spray it on one of his business cards or a piece of cardboard for you. Yeah. And so please send a self addressed stamped envelope to the rag company, care of Anthony Fisher, 5430 West State, Boise, Idaho, 83703. Or, and he will put hold on. a piece of cardboard sprayed got, with this scent oh. and mail got, it back to you. I got one you. better for you. Oh. Place an order. Put it in your notes that you want a ah, spritz of the all-day Anthony uh, spray. I'll put a business card and in there that smells will like probably this. Smell like yeah. it forever. And we'll seal it but, in a bag so that nothing yeah. else smells like yeah. it. But don't, don't you'll be able to. A, smell I don't it. think a sandwich bag is going to stop. No, it's pretty horrid. I'm so very, the opening <laughs> is probably one of the worst smells I've ever smelled. No I think I think it's a great. I think it, that's a great thing. Just put it in there. All day Anthony's scent. Once it calms down, it's a little bit more woodsy, but it is pretty horrific. So uh, needless to say, it was my first experience uh, blending clone. Actually, my second experience. Because my first experience is actually in this little uh, Sephora tester here uh, that isn't actually a Sephora so scent. What so I ended up doing, weird. this is kind of a weird thing. People are going to be like, wow, you're really weird. So I love the smell of Envy in London, right? Right. When we went you there, actually had, ordered the legit the, pro- potpourri that they yeah. were using yeah. in the uh, waiting room. So what I ended up doing is I had some extra potpourri left. So I ended up soaking that in a 30% mix of alcohol and distilled water. And then I ended up adding um, some um, essential oils of uh, sandalwood, a little bit of cedarwood. I used a little bit of frankincense and a little bit of bergamot, right, as the top note. And I added that and I basically soaked that in a mixture for roughly a week. Okay. I ended up restraining it um, and then adding a little bit of alcohol as needed. How did you strain it? With a coffee filter? Um, n- yes. I actually okay. used a small little metal strainer uh, several different times. I actually did this. I think I spent about an hour restraining back and forth, back and forth. One hour. There is, there, well, there's sediment in there from the potpourri. Yeah, yeah but and one hour so, you spent straining fluid. Correct. And so... It ended up resulting in, in a smell. It does smell like it's a cologne scent. It is more masculine. It has a little bit of a floral scent from that. Uh, from I that. will say it smells good. It smells it, like NVN. It smells exactly like NVN London. I wish I would have had the uh, like a coffee extract or something like that because NVN had a little bit more of a coffee smell to it. But anyways, well, I created the espresso that. Machine right there. And I have much more than this, obviously, but I just brought that as a sample. It doesn't smell bad. Um, so that's what I wanted to start with. Spraying first. it around your house. Katie um, like it. Katie doesn't hate it, but she hates that other <laughs> scent. And she says it's probably the worst smell she's ever smelled. Yeah. So, um, all right. So getting into this, my weekend started last Wednesday. Um, I went to leave to go to my brother's graduation mm-hmm. um, from the Air Force down in... Um, San Antonio. San Antonio, yeah. And so uh, he is at the... Um, the um, gosh, it starts with an L. I completely forgot the name of the base. The la- um Oh my God! Anyway, my brain. You'll bring it back. So anyway, anyway, guys, flew down. It takes away. Yeah. Time. So, anyways, he was in San Antonio at the main Air Force base there, and so he's been there for the past eight and a half weeks, mm-hmm. and so. Um, uh, it was me, my, my family, my, my cousin, uh, Katie, of course, and um, uh, my grandma. And so, um, we. I guess how do I say this? So, my brother, um, he's twenty three, right? Um, he is. He's had, you know, quite a bumpy little past over his past few years. He got, you know, I got in trouble when he was a teenager. And um, the thing about my brother is that he was, he is a normal teenager. He made the same decisions as a lot of other teenagers made, right? You know, he got in trouble doing, you know, lots of different things, right? Just, just expose him just, on here. Well, yeah. well no, well, just listen. Just <laughs> How listen. How much though. time did just, he do in just, juvie? No, he didn't do any time in juvie or How anything like that. How long was he on probation? Right? He wasn't on probation, fortunately, right? Okay. The thing about my brother, he was like every other teenager, except he got caught for every bad thing he did, mm. if right. that makes sense. Vandalism? So, no, not, uh, not like vandalism. Weed. 
uh, lots of few different things, right? Try, try toilet paper you know, in houses, you know, dr- slash and tires. Things now, nothing like Spray that. Spray painting graffiti <laughs> but on places. Anyways, let me continue. So, <laughs> so l- l- my brother, I love him to death, but he, you know, he got in trouble when he was younger, and he again, over- what trouble did he get into that it was so bad? They're gonna tell us later. No, just like everything, like right. Okay. So if, if you were if you were a kid, like did like oh, I'm gonna try my first beer, right? He would, get, dries? he would get caught with his first beer. Oh, or if he okay. was like, yeah. he's like, he's like, he, or he's like, I'm going to sneak out of the house, right? He got caught, caught sneaking he, out of the house. Fell right? out the window. Or, yeah. or something like that. So it was yeah, a bunch of different I things see. like that. I thought it was on the first story. Nothing, <laughs> nothing ever, ever horrible, right? But he's always been like trying to like, kind of He just hasn't it. had luck. So you're saying you didn't teach him well. There's no, a walking, no. talking Murphy's Law. Yeah. So okay. right. anyway, but. He so over the last few years he has completely. I mean he he goes to church every Sunday. He's the, but he's such a good kid and he's the type of person that will give you the shirt off his back. Yeah, he would do anything for you. Yeah, he's a sweetheart and he's just he's just a such a good kid. And I always look back like man, he had bad luck in a lot of those situations where you're growing up trying to learn yeah. about life. And um, so for the past couple of years he's gone on. <laughs> Uh, he went on a mission trip to India. Yep. He did he did a bunch of stuff through church, different church things, and he's you know he was in his youth group and all, did all sorts of cool stuff. But he never really knew what kind of path he wanted to go down in terms of of, of you know being growing up. Mm-hmm. So he was in school. He was going to school um, uh, full time and part time, and eventually he was like, I ah, you know I want to do something else. So that's when he decided to join into the Air Force, uh, and we're all super proud of him. We we're so happy that he decided to make that decision. Um, because he's a guy that likes structure in his yeah. life. He likes that kind of stuff. So um, going down to um, um, San Antonio, it was it was, it was was quick flight on, on, on Wednesday. Ended up going through Denver, getting in. Um, everything was going great. It was actually pretty cold in San Antonio, which yeah. was pretty, pretty funny. Um, wasn't as warm as what we thought it was going to be. But um, uh, first day in there, it was just kind of getting to know the area. Funny thing, we ended up staying at an Airbnb that was right down the street from a house that was converted into a restaurant, right? Or, a, or like a little oh. kind of mini quick bite that they have. You know, they had beers on draft. They had some of the best wings I've ever had. Oh and my. it was and it was a unlabeled, unbranded little restaurant, mm-hmm. right? It was called Atta Girl, is what I think is what it was called. And one of the best places I've ever ate at. And it was just a super cool... Um, the, the area in San Antonio we stayed at was north of the freeway and had... Definitely like some like North End hipster vibes to it, right? It was San very, Antonio was a gorgeous. Town. It was very, it was very. Sounds like my kind of. Place. It wasn't like all like like Texas. Like yeah, I thought San Antonio it was and be. Austin. Did you go to the Riverwalk? Cool. Yes, I yeah. did go to the Riverwalk. Love Walk, it. But, Love Riverwalk. Um, so it was Thursday. Was the day was the first day that we were um, going to be able to see him. It was during like the Airmen's Run, is what it was. So we got there super early, and um, you know we've. All miss him so much. He's like he's a, a huge part of my family. He kind of you know guys, he's he's the he's the baby. Did you guys not talk but, to him for? But yeah, we haven't have been able to talk to him. I mean, yeah. we he got I think one or two phone calls, but other than that, we've just been writing him letters. And so, um, but you know, basics. You know, it's pretty hard in, in terms of that kind of stuff. And so, um, the Airmen's Run is like the first time you get to be able to see these guys go out and do that's like this graduation kind yeah. of run is what it is, and. Um, and basically, they they suit up in their you know their uh, ac- active gear, and then they run around. And my brother had let us know that he was a- in line to graduate with honors, and that he you know was at that time um, the head of um, physical training. I mean, he had he had basically done lead physical training, and which was amazing because. But he's always been one of those kids that's in really good shape and stuff, and so uh, we're really excited to see him. And I remember that we um, were standing out there in this big open area and we start seeing the guys run forward and we're all just like dying to see him because we haven't seen him in months, yeah. right? We want to know what he looks like. Is he okay? You know, <laughs> how's everything going? And he said that he would be, you know, running and in, in, in head of his um, his group, right? And so right. In, in these graduations, they have these different, uh, these different groups, these different flights is what they're called. So they had like the gators, they had like the warthogs, they have the eagles and then so-and-so. And his group that he was in was called the Wolf Pack. And um, we start seeing them kind of run towards us. And we're on the waiting on the sidelines, you know, trying to, like, you know, have our phones ready, ready to take pictures, ready to kind of see where he's at, you know. And uh, they made their first pass. And we don't see him. And we don't see him again. The next group passes. We don't see him. The next group passes. We don't see him. And my whole family is just, we're, we're like, we're bummed because we can't see him. And this group of kids that all yeah. pretty much look the same, right? right? They're all shaved heads and everything. And so... Um, 
then they made their another pass around, right? And we're frantically looking like, I don't see him, I don't see him. And it was crazy because my sister, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get like super emotional right now about this because it was just such a big thing in my life, but it, or in our whole, whole family's life is that my sister's like, you know, there he is, right? He's at the front of the whole thing, you know, running with the American flag, right? Yeah. The front of every flight. He's holding flight. the flag. He's the one holding and the flag. And not like over his shoulder. He's holding no. it straight out while he's doing this run. In front of every flight in the whole thing. And yeah. that was like one of those things where everybody saw it and we're all like, everybody started crying. Yeah. Because we were just so, we, <laughs> yeah, we, we, were, we, were, we were like, wow, you know, he went from in life, you know, he, yeah. he got in trouble, you know, he's trying to find his path. And then now he's literally head of, you know, he's, yeah. he's leading this whole entire charge, Aww. you know, not just holding any flag, but he's holding the American flag. And it was just like, was there, was he yeah. the only one holding the American flag? Yeah. Yeah. And so it was just like huge yeah, for that's us. That's a big, it and was, that's a big deal too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we were like, I said, like our whole family just started bawling. We were so happy and we were just like, holy crap, he's killing it. He's yeah. doing that awesome. And so, um, it was later that day we got to see him do the whole march and everything like that, suited up in his, in his gear. And, um, they looked awesome. It's, it's just the whole concept of, you know, sending all these people to basic training who have no idea how to march, no idea how to do anything like this. And then after eight weeks, they are perfectly in unison, you know, like, a I don't, like, yeah, you know, they drill. It, it's, yeah. it's crazy. It's just super cool to see, you know, every, all of them turn at the same time, do all this stuff. And so, um, we got to go and see him. Um, walk out to the area while he was suited up in camo and go see him for the first time and my whole family's crying bawling and because we're you know we get to we get to hug him and everything but they say you know can't can't do prolonged hugging you can't show too much affection but certain things are okay and um but we're sitting here like well, screw these rules man i want to like you know love on my brother i haven't seen him for so long and um i guess what also made me sad there too at the same time is that all these people, all these kids have gone through all this training for eight weeks, right? With no contact with, little to no contact with their family. And some of the people don't have their families there, right? right? Mm. And they have to stand there at attention, right? Until they get tapped out, until somebody goes up to them and says, hey, you know, you're relieved of, of standing yeah. and duty. And there was some people that just continued to stand there, right? Amongst all the craziness of families, hugging everything. And I'm sitting here like, damn, is there a way to know if people don't have family here so I can go like give these guys a hug and like say like, thank you. And so like my sister ended up tapping out a couple of guys and um, you know, some of the guys don't have family there. And it's kind of sad to think about that. They do go through all of this and they don't have anybody there to pick them up or, you know, you know, hang out with them after it's all done. So um, basically from there, we get to see all my brothers, um, his dorms and all of that and um and check out his bed and he showed us all of his all the stuff that he's kind of been doing and um that's when we got to hang out with him on base there and so that freaking base why it starts with an l why i literally spent a week there and i don't remember the name of it i just can't think about it um so we spent the day with him there he showed us all that he have they have like a little mini mall area which has all the basic stores um i've never been on a military base before so it was like my first time doing yeah. that and seeing how that all kind of runs and uh it was it was interesting and kind of weird at the same time because it's like people live there and it's like normal life but just a second away there is the rest of san antonio so yeah um but uh it was i think it was like friday we actually got to um pick him up and um and take him out and so we went out and um, had lunch, went to the river Lackland. walk. Lackland. Oh my God, that's, that's the, the freaking name of the place. <laughs> and so anyway, so that's what it was. So we got to spend a lot of time there, went bowling, did a bunch of, you know, whatever fun stuff you could do at Lackland yeah. and, um, just a ton of people and there's graduations every week. So there's all, you know, it's always pop in there. There's always things going on. Um, but Saturday or Friday we went out and I uh, did the river walk, check things out. And it was just so cool. Cause he's wearing his blues, he's wearing yeah. his nice stuff. And, I can't even tell you how many people came up to him and shook his hand and said, you know, thank you for your service. It was just super cool to see. And I think it made him feel so awesome. Like, and like, we're just watching like so proud, like that's my brother, you know, we're so, so happy for him. And it's kind of funny cause you never really like, unless you have family that's been in the military, yeah, you know, you, you can know. support your military. Right. right. But you never really have a connection with somebody that, you know, unless there's somebody's in it to really know, you know, what that's like. And right. so, um, like I never, I guess, had that connection. I've always been like, oh yeah, dude, support the troops, you know, help them out, do whatever you can. Um, but actually having family in there kind of takes that to like the next level. And so you really get to feel like you're more intertwined with that. And, um, but 
tons of people shaking his hand, a couple of people, lots of people congratulating him. We went and saw the Alamo. Um, and what was cool is that since he graduated with honors, he got this little badge, right, on his on, on the his big line of badges. Apparently, it's your one chance to, you only have one shot at that, is graduating with honors from, from basic training. And if you don't do it, you, you never get that badge again. Yeah. But how many people that were active or people that had been in the military came up and said, noticed it and say wow you graduated with honors that's awesome you had one shot at that and you did it congratulations it was yeah, it was just super cool. cool and um uh saturday we ended up going out and um i want to give a huge shout out to dan digma yeah listener of the rag company podcast yeah. who also dan. is stationed at lackland who gave me he sent me an email with such good advice he literally said here's the restaurants you need to go to here's the places you need to stop and yeah. see um and we ended up going to um, a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant called La Gloria, which is right around the Pearl District. And we went into the Emma Hotel, which, Levi, you would die if you saw this hotel. It's literally your life. Like, it's oh, love it. it's <laughs> rustic. <laughs> it's woodsy. It's I, I'm actually going to pull up some pictures because you actually need to see what this thing is like. But basically, it was just it was it was an awesome, awesome place. You can just kind of scroll to the left of that. Oh, but beautiful. It was a beautiful hotel. They say it's haunted, apparently. But, um, oh, I think we went, everything in San Antonio is haunted. Probably. But um, oh, we... Oh, man. Look at that. We um, went out to restaurants that Dan uh, you know, told us to check out. And then uh, on Saturday was our last day with him. We went to Top Golf, which is awesome. We hit up, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, f- the iFlight, the indoor skydiving. Mm. Um, basically, we just wanted to make it a, a weekend around my brother because we were just so happy and proud with, of him. And we wanted so to spend as much time. did he leave with you guys? Wow. That uh, really did no. have to? Yeah. So he's actually, um, Ooh, yeah. so we had to say our goodbyes. And, you know, it was really tough, like I said, because it feels like when you're, when you're there, that you feels, it feels like you're picking him up from school. Right. And you're taking yeah. him home. But you're not. Right. right? And, you know, him being like the baby in the family, you know, we all like think, well, okay, you've had fun now and you've learned all this stuff. Let's go home. (laughs) And he's just like, well, guys, now I'm going. He's so he's off to Mississippi now and he's going to be going down there for tech school for the next, I think, six to seven months or whatever it is. And then um, because he's going into the weather program. Uh, meteorology and stuff and he loves weather that's his favorite thing he's one of those guys that you know when you say how's the weather down there it's not like a he likes that kind of co- oh my oh gosh. wow <laughs> happy wow. birthday to you holy smokes happy birthday dear anthony happy birthday to you wow Great timing. Thank you, guys. <laughs> wow. I don't have to guess I was talking to this microphone, but wow. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's amazing. Um, should I just take a handful, or how does this work? <laughs> the whole TRC team has just, just walked my, in to my... give Anthony his birthday cake. <laughs> Thank you. And for... a card. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, they, no, they can kind of get, can get, a, get a good idea. Upside down. Can out. Well, <laughs> Thank you, guys. Nice. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good Bye. job. Wow. <laughs> um, we'll do you guys it. want this cake back, or is it? Okay. <laughs> do you want to just take now. it? Oh, they okay. want it. Okay. okay. <laughs> they You're want almost it. Done. Josh <laughs> is like, I want cake. <laughs> anyway. Um, wow, that's, that's awesome. Thanks, everyone. But uh, <laughs> getting, I guess, getting back, finishing this out. Um, it, it, so it's, it's, it's interesting that you so know. So he's going to do weather. He's going to do meteorology. Yeah. He's uh, gonna, he loves talking about weather. You ask him about weather. He lo- that's his favorite topic to talk about. Cool. So, um, so and that's, it's, it's just interesting because that's what he's always wanted to do in life. But yeah. how do you get into that, right? right. And yeah. getting into the Air Force and doing that is a really easy way and a really, 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 really good way to do that. So um, just basically just want to say, I don't know if my brother will ever listen to this, but we're just, I'm super proud of him. My whole family's super proud of him. Um, we love him. We're going to miss him. And uh, I don't think he's coming home for Christmas, so we won't be able to see him for um, several months. And uh, hopefully, um, if we can take a trip out to Mississippi, I'll be happy to go out there. Yeah. He can show me places to eat and stuff. And um, and then from there, we'll see where he gets stationed, but hopefully somewhere cool. He really wants to go to like Italy or Germany or yeah. anywhere that accepts that position. He would really like to do that. So um, but, uh, yeah, so shout out to da- Dan Digma, shout out to everybody else that's in the Air Force that kind of reached out and, um, appreciate all that. So, um, but yeah, that was pretty much the weekend. Flew home. Um, nice. made home safe and sound. Uh, tried to kind of get back to normal after eating all that. We went, dude, went to the smoke shack. We went to all these different barbecue places, mm, went and had nice. all, all sorts of good Tex-Mex. 
Um, and it was definitely would go back there for the food again, but I would need a, probably a whole bottle of roll aids or tons <laughs> because it, it'll, it'll jack you up, dude. Ooh. So, uh, but that's it. So Dane, let's, right, let's see, see this. Uh, Dane has been, uh, so furiously the entire drawn time, yeah. this whole time. I, I went needlessly, uh, oh, a little over over detailed, <laughs> but here, so you understand. Okay. That's where the mirror is. That's, this, that's all this picture this needed whole to be. <laughs> picture is to show where Dane so has a mirror, mirror placed in his house. Is this the TV or is that a window? That little that's thin the thing TV. on top of the desk is the TV. Yes. Okay, so it is like a little like sticking out like uh, that. Yeah. Okay, I see. I was wondering how you yeah, were and that's managing. A, that's a door that leads out to the patio. So, okay. Yeah, that's why that's set up the way it is. Okay, here's the front door. Tree, yep. some bushes. I see. Mm -hmm. um, garage, backyard, mail room. Right I figured front. that was wow important. full floor plan. I love that. Do you guys want to yeah, go ahead and so, check it uh, out? This is Dane. This is completely over the top and absolutely <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> Just to show us where one mirror is placed in his house. He I even did all the little door. It's it's symbols. like the visual equivalent of I what I do, I where I try scary. and provide context that helps the explain outside. something, and it ends up being way cake down. Don't spray it on yeah. your cake, please. Oh God, we just poisoned everyone. I love how it's red. Do you like how they put in that effort to make it red? I did like. I did like that a lot. I swear, Caitlin's an angel. Front door. Oh, very that. nice. Yep, huge <clears throat> wow. TV, living room, Christmas tree placed right there. Yes, so, so you notice the Christmas on, tree. On this. Yeah. Oh, Liz has an office. Yes. Perfect. Did not know that. That's where oh, she does her is, art. Yeah. Is this the tiki bar? Uh, no, no. Or wait, where I can't tell where you are on the map. I, so Liz <laughs> has her own office. The tiki bar is right next here. to the it's patio gotta door. Be. So yeah. is oh, Liz okay. starting her business yeah. out of that office maybe someday? That she does her art out of there, yeah. Okay. Her office art? Yeah. Uh, mm. Mail room, I see. Mail yep. room, yeah. Hot master, mail room, yeah. Master bat. Oh, very nice. I see, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Lovely. Well, Lovely. Dane, we really appreciate that. Um, and yeah. now you know. So thank I'd you. also <laughs> like from now on for all of us to draw our floor plans. Oh, okay. yes. um, I will also uh, build the MOSHQ. Now it is two stories. That's what. So that's my problem to, as well. I will so have, we're gonna have to create have to draw those two stairs. Also. And yours as well. Mm. Have two stories, yeah. 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 Mm. Nice. So, well, right. um, now we know. Perfect. Really appreciate right. that. So, anyways, guys, but yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of it. That's kind of the week we have. Um, we have a lot. We have a lot going let's on go here in the next cake. couple weeks. Yeah, cake yeah. time. Let's go eat some cake and, and have some fun. <laughs> so, Dane, take it away. All right, folks. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please, if you listen to Spotify, add our podcast on Spotify. We really appreciate that. And it's a great way to easily get episodes when they come out. Otherwise, you can always tune in on the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel or wherever else you happen to get your podcast. Podcasts are we sold. are probably there. And you don't have to buy this oh, one. Okay, it's good. free, folks. <laughs> it's free. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't charge people to hear me talk. But any rate, guys, thank you so much. We will catch you next time. We'll see ya. Bye.